Okay, guys, um, I got a word this morning, but before I read it, I wanted to tell you that the week before this Sunday, which is April 23rd, 2023, I was woke up to the song, We Are One in the Spirit, We Are One in the Lord, and I pray that all unity will one day be restored. Then they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. They'll know we are Christians by our love. And that just has been resonating in my spirit. I've been praying for the body of Christ because, you know, we can see that there's a lot of dissension between the body of Christ even. And I have had a real heart for praying for unity and for us to keep our focus on Jesus. And so this morning I was woke up with a word from the Lord. So I wanted to tell you that before I read it to you. So here we go. So the word came, it was on love. Sunday at 9.25 a.m. I wrote it down. The word of the Lord to the body of Christ and his bride. This is him. 1 Corinthians 13, read my child. Though I speak with tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I've become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and uh, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. My love is not of this world. My love does not see you as the world sees you. Those I love I also chasten and correct, but not to bring you down in condemnation. No, child, it's to build you up and make you stronger and grounded so that when the storms of this life come, you will be like a firmly planted tree that is not tossed by the winds of this life that are here now. No, children, you remain upright and rooted in my love, standing on the rock, which is your sure foundation. I have seen how you have loved by your standards, and I am saddened by the lack of understanding that you have had with the brethren. Children, you are in the last moments of time. Do not waste precious seconds trying to be right. I am not pleased with the heart of pride for which you correct and reproof each other. Go back to the word where I teach you to love and be patient with one another, as I have been patient with you. My word is sharper than a two-edged sword, and out of my love I have commanded you to speak not of yourselves, but of me. I am the one who died for all of you. No one is better than his master. When you feel like you are not loved, that is not me, but from me, I'm sorry, from your enemy that seeks to destroy you. Children, you have no more time. Focus on my love. Seek my heart. Seek my face and allow yourself to be enveloped by my perfect love. Work together as a united body. No one is more important than the other. My father loves you all the same and does not play favorites. You are to be in one spirit and one accord. Stand firm in this as you see the tide rising higher and higher. I will be there and will show you perfect love and will cast out all your fear and doubt. 
Finally, children, know this. My perfect love is about to be perfected in you. In a moment, you will no longer see these things through a mirror dimly, for you shall know just as you're also known. I love you all, and I desire you, you to hear my words and to pursue my love for you. Then all the prophecies, words of knowledge, corrections, and reproofs shall be done out of the spirit in which I commanded you. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as, your, as you love yourself. Be patient with each other and encourage one another in these last seconds of your race. For you are about to behold all my beauty and pleasure. Love, Yeshua, Abba Father. We are all one in the Holy Spirit. Amen. I got this word this morning and I was blown away because um, I just want to make sure that the body of Christ understands that I know we try to help each other and correct each other and show each other the right way, but we need to make sure that we're doing it in the love of how Christ loved, in his perfect love. And so I believe that's why he had me go back and re, you know, re, reread and study um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I would encourage all of us to do that so that we stay in that perfect love in these last moments of time so that we are encouraging each other and helping each other past that finish line to, to the end. Um, we are called to love one another, and I don't see that sometimes. Um, and I don't know if we just forget and we get into our own selves and we want to be right, but I would encourage you, and this I'm preaching to myself as well, I would encourage you to really try to um, go to the Lord and ask Him if this fits you or if this is something that the Lord is speaking to your heart, to go to Him and ask Him what He wants you to do. Um, okay, I love you all. I know we're going home so soon, and I know that's why he wanted this to go out, because he loves you, and he is waiting for a spotless bride. Um, okay, God bless. Bye.